Don't miss Clownfish Studios' latest crowdfunder, Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Thaddeus Wendell's greatest treasure is out there, and it's up to young mage Crimson Wren and the crew of a rundown airship called the True North to find it. But will they find it in time? Crimson Wren of the True North is a race against the clock filled with action, adventure, comedy, and heart. This is a brand new manga-style graphic novel from Clownfish Studios. Go to crimsonwren.com or check it out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. It ends on November 18th. That's November 18th. And now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And let's talk about all these uh, bootleg Disney horror movies coming out. Well, they're right? not Disney. They're not, but that's that's... They're not technically Disney movies, but they're kind of sort of because riding the, off Disney, of Disney has made this characters famous. Let's yeah, put it that way. Yeah. So we we already had uh, Way the Pooh, Blood and Honey, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's coming to theaters. We'll talk about that. I actually want to see this one. It's only out for one day. That's it. I believe so. Oh man, that's a bummer. Oh bother. Oh bother. Um. Now Peter Pan Neverland Nightmare is coming, and uh, you know. We're going to see more distinctly Disney versions of characters uh, yeah, turned into schlock because a lot of the copyrights are expiring, including Mickey right. Mouse, uh, or at least the original. The Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse is set to become public domain pretty soon. And we might see some black and white Mickey Mouse stuff. Probably. Probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out, but let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over uh, 280,000 subs. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, we mentioned the uh, the Way the Pooh movie before, and uh, you did an article yesterday talking about a Peter Pan movie. Right. So, which one you want to talk about? Let's talk first? about the Peter Pan one because that you know that but everything I'm, that you're talking about, poop, the blood and honey ties into this. Okay. Okay. So when they interviewed the person, here scroll to the article. I can't remember his name. When they interviewed uh, Rise Freak Waterfield, is that how you say his name? I don't know. Um, the one they're doing a sequel, sequel to Pooh, Blood and Honey. More, now with more poop. Watch it be like if they wait a couple years, they can get Tigger. So that's probably what they're gonna do. I was thinking that because I'm like, I don't think they can do Tigger Not yet. Not yet. Later. Yeah. So, yeah. But now they're gonna do uh, Peter Pan Neverland Nightmare um, because that book is also in public domain. Now Peter Pan lends itself far more to horror film, I think, than you know, Winnie the Pooh would. Because uh, the Peter Pan, the story of Peter Pan itself is very dark. Disney, right. you know, lightened it up considerably um, for their version. Yeah, they actually had to uh, stitch his shadow into his heels or something. In the well, they kind of, they kind of. She, that's what she was doing yeah. in the movie too. With the, but yeah, like, he's got a, a shadow that can, that that can move uh, without his body. Yeah. Go around killing people. Yeah. You know, it's an unruly shadow. You got the whole Tinkerbell. You slap her ass and you get pixie dust. I mean, there's 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 lots of things they can do with that. Um, so when this pixie dust is with pixie dust, it's like you know that you had to slap her ass or shake her to get the pixie dust. Slap my ass and call me Tank. I'm just saying. And then they have, um, like, you know, we have we have Captain Hook, who's obsessed with the kid. You have the yes. Lost Boys, and there's a the whole idea that Lost Boys aren't really like, you know, they're they're dead. Like he kills them. That 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 was like an implication people have made that the reason they never grow old is because they're dead. That ties back to the fact they said that the author kind of was obsessed with death because I guess his brother was killed when he was little. In a skating accident, which they, someone ran into him and he fell and, and fractured his skull. And then, then they think it was him that actually hit his brother. And then his mom hated him. Wow. So the dude's got issues. But he also had like merm the mermaids in, his, in the original source material were like more like um, sirens. That's so why they hate everybody but Peter Pan. So there's all kinds of things here you can definitely make a horror movie from. You could. But you know what? It's probably not going to be very well done. I think it's probably going to be I don't be know. Shot. It might be good. I mean, honestly, I think you could probably do a lot with a Peter Pan horror movie you from could. the source material. I think there's a lot more source material to play with there than there was with Way the Pooh. Play with Peter Pan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things you can do with Peter Pan. Come with me, children. Let's go play with Peter Pan. Um, Peter Pan's Labyrinth. 
Peter Pan's you, Labyrinth. If yeah. you do that, that'd be that'd be horrifying. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna see. Look again. This is not. There have been many Peter Pans that were not Disney, but I have to wonder if they're not going to take a cue from the Disney version. What shocked me about the the Pooh, Blood and Honey one was that it looked like it was based more on the Disney version of Pooh than the book version of Pooh. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with the, the red shirt and the whole Oh, I'm sure that's what thing, the point you know? was. And I'm sure that's what they'll do with Peter Pan, too. They're going to push it as far as they can, as close as they can. Yeah, because in the book, if I remember, I mean, it's been ages since I've even touched the original book, but I remember him being sort of like this nature child and you know, wild hair it. and the whole thing. And they'll probably go with the green tunic and, and I'm all sure of that. they will. As what, yeah. Whatever they can get away with without getting sued. Come right up to that line and don't mm-hmm. cross it because Disney's lawyers, you know, Disney lawyers. I, I was waiting for them to shut this down. I actually was, because this does look more like the Disney version of Pooh. You know, I was thinking that, but then I was thinking they probably aren't because they're probably getting all kind. Even though it's a horror mo- movie, it's probably boosting their Winnie the Pooh searches, their Winnie the Pooh other stuff. It's probably is boosting all that from having the horror movie. Hey, you know they've got they've got the option of uh, you know putting R rated content on Disney Plus. They should put this on Disney Plus and see what happens. They're they bringing, should, they could. They could. They've, they've been bringing other, I mean, they're bringing I don't, Doctor they, they Who. They don't do horror, though. They haven't gone horror. They could put it, on, you know, on Hulu, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so this is uh, this is coming from Collider. They said that um, it's coming soon with the 2022 streaming date still possible before the end of the year. They need to have that out by Halloween. You know, how long does it take to film this thing? Like two weeks? Uh, <laughs> we, it's, it's already been. I thought it was already out. I don't know. This was um, no. It was out. It was out. Like you could buy it, like a, a direct video or something. Oh, okay. You could buy it. All right. Thought. <laughs> Reported exclusively by the Hollywood Reporter, Blood and Honey will be theatrical, theatrically released by Fathom Events for one day on February fifteenth, twenty twenty three. Top of that, the film will receive a theatrical release in the UK, Mexico, and Canada. Uh, Altitude has acquired it in the UK. So, who's going to spill blood all over the world? Blood and, and honey. honey. Blood and Honey is the bloody demon spawn of the Way of the Pooh IP hitting the public domain in January of 2022. Oh, the same, yeah, same guy, Reese. Reese yeah, as I said, Reese Frake Waterfield directed the film, so he's just going to work his way through the entire Disney catalog. So Mickey, he's probably already got a script for Mickey Mouse. Well, maybe because that that eventually, well, you know, Disney will do something. Well, it already did fall into a public domain, didn't it? Didn't it already fall the Steamboat Willie, or is it going uh, to? I think it's going to. It's going right. to. Here I can't remember. Soon. I do so many stories, guys. I don't remember. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty soon, uh, or not the. It might even be the uh, pre Steamboat Willie, like the plain crazy version of Mickey Mouse. Um, but yeah, so it's. Uh, I guarantee you, if it's you know, since this is the same guy, it's going to be very similar or evoke the Disney version. But he could probably argue parody too. He'd be like, well, that's what I'm saying. It's clearly parody. It's clearly parody. It's not actually Winnie the Pooh. It's uh, but it's called Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's, it's Winnie the Pooh it's not Disney's Winnie the Pooh yep he's already playing a sequel along with another horror take on Peter Pan so this reminds me of all the Disney knockoff really bad animated uh, movies you'd find in the DVD bargain bins at the oh yeah stores, yeah yeah except they're all horror movies so they just add blood and tits well I was gonna say she's, she clearly has those yeah right I was uh, debating if they were real or not I was literally sitting here wondering if waves are floating are those real or not <laughs> So, um, God, th- th- this would be interesting if this becomes like a whole genre of like Disney based horror movies. Well, I'm sure there's like Disney based porn. So why not? Right? I don't ever want to hear Disney based porn again. Don't search. Ursula for it. is just. Oh, God. <laughs> like oh, can you imagine? Well, I mean, technically, technically he could, you know, it's Hans Christian Anderson. He could do a version of the Little Mermaid and. She might actually be Ginger. Yeah, but then she dies at the end, like she does. Well, the yeah. Sea foam. Yeah, but you do it in such a she horrific. Melts. Yeah, you do it in like such a horrific fashion, like she's like a, a, a siren or something, and he like throws acid on her, and then she's just like her face freaking melts off, and her her tits fall off. And you find out that they're fake, so they're still left. So all that's left of Ariel 
by the end, of, she turns into mush in the ocean. Also, left of her are her two silicon tits. What was the movie that that happened in? The there was a movie that that. Happened? No, there was a person at the end that like they like that all was left of the woman for two silicone balls. I forget what movie that was. What, what, what was that? Tell me in the comments. I can't remember. My mind blank. But you know what I mean. If you've seen it, like the woman, like they blow her up or do something to her, and all that's left is two silicon implants. And that's how that's how they remember her by, like you know. I guess. Her bags. I I don't know, guys. Uh, are we gonna wrap this up? Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.